Greetings, YouTube. This is Fragments of Memory once again, aka the Armchair Philosopher. Um, this is again me coming forth to talk about my favorite show, Doctor Who, about the time traveling alien with two hearts from the planet Gallifrey. Um, this DVD right here that I have is is Doctor Who the movie. So this is the the, the film version of Doctor Who. There was a made-for-TV movie done in 1996. The show had went off the air in 1989, and then they tried to bring it back to an American audience in 96. And it was it was a pretty good try. I mean, the story the story has its moments, good and bad. Um, Paul McGann, excellent as this younger Doctor, who's very much a Byronic type of hero, very, very hero heroic and romantic. He kisses the girl, and this is the first time you see the Doctor doing something romantic. Like being the romantic lead, so to speak. So that's very interesting to me. So I find that fascinating that the doctor's kind of doing the whole romantic hero shebang. He's swooping in, kick, grabbing the girl. He's he's kicking the bad guy, and of course he's facing his old nemesis, the master, who has a new body because the master's body was destroyed. So the little essence. This is also um, a regeneration story as well. Um, the seventh incarnation of the doctor of Sylvester McCoy becomes Paul McGann and Paul McGann is very much a younger doctor and of course he he wears a wild Bill Hickok costume which is pretty neat um Eric Roberts plays the the poor ambulance driver that will be possessed by the master so Eric Roberts is the master um and what's really neat is uh the leading lady they have um uh, the, the the actress's name is Daphne Ashbrook, but she played a Dr. Grace Holloway, and I thought she made a really good companion. Uh, the film the film seems very film noir. Um, the DVD's got some really nice extras, like it's got it's a two DVD set. It's a special edition, so it talks about you know like what people were saying about the show when it was going on. Um, Paul McGann's screen test, um, really good stuff. Um, what else can I say? Like I say, the story, not as, it does have its exciting moments, but then it gets kind of cheesy and there is a, a big plot hole. Or if you're planning on seeing it, I would recommend you seeing it, you know. But other than that, I mean, if only someone had picked it up, I would love to have seen what Doctor Who would have been like if Paul McGann got a full series to work with as opposed to just a one-shot made-for-television movie. And what I'm waiting for is to find out the regeneration between Paul McGann and Christopher Eccleston, who was the ninth Doctor. That's kind of what I'm I'm really looking forward to. So I like this Doctor. He isn't on my top five, but he's definitely, you know, he's definitely a good, like each Doctor brings their own magic to the role, whatever their quirk or their thing is, but they keep the essence of the Doctor. Like Colin Baker, of course, I'm going to, I'm a Colin Baker dude. I, I, I will tell you that. Uh, another Doctor I really like is John Pertwee. He was pretty good. And Tom Baker. And I like David Tennant and Chris Eccleston. And I really like this Matt Smith guy. But like I say, each doctor brings his own special magic to the table. So with that being said, Doctor Who the movie, special edition. And that's just my take on it, my talking about it. Um, take care.